Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about doing an installation on a Blackstone C19. We're going to upgrade this from the factory installed um, TSU C19 decoder, which is essentially an original Tsunami. We're going to upgrade this to the TSU 1100 from our Tsunami 2 uh, profile. Okay guys, for this installation you will need a, a few tools, um, basic soldering iron, electrical grade solder and flux. You don't want to use plumber's flux on this installation. Strippers, cutters, X-Acto knife, tweezers, a couple small Phillips screwdrivers for taking the tender tank and factory installed decoder out, and uh, your double-sided tape. All right, so we've got our C19 here. Just as a reminder, the locomotive and tender is, are not separable on this model, so we do have to work with, with both pieces together here. In order to get started to gain access to the tender tank screws, we'll need to remove the first and fourth axle of the tender. And that'll give us access to our four tank screws. So we've got the four screws that hold the tender tank removed. We can set the cradle to the side here. And we will remove the tender tank. That is the TSU C19 decoder. We will remove that once we get all of our wires labeled and tagged in here to make room for the new TSU 1100. We will be using the factory installed speaker in this upgrade. So with the C19 tender tank removed, you can see the um, factory installed decoder. It's equipped with wire connectors on it to make the removal very simple. Um, we're going to unplug the tender truck pickup from the decoder. We're going to unplug the speaker connection. You do want to keep these plugs oriented as far as the area that they came out. We'll be tagging these wires once we remove the the decoder for future identification. And just as a reminder guys, as we're removing these connectors, you want to be very gentle with them. You don't want to remove them by the wire. Make sure you're gripping with your pliers or tweezers on the plug itself and a little wiggle and pull action. Remove the locomotive to tender harness. With the four screws removed from the corners of the decoder, the factory installed decoder can now be removed and set aside. Okay, so I've started tagging our wiring harness inside the tender. We will have a pinout diagram available for upgrading uh, the C19 to a Tsunami 2 showing what wire goes to what wire on the decoder. Once uh, you get the, the two wire tender truck harness identified, we're going to start working on the six wire harness to the locomotive by trimming the wire off the back side of it. We want to trim it flush to the back of the harness to make sure we have the most wire available. Pin 3, which is the cam wire, is not going to be used when we upgrade to the Tsunami 2, as the Tsunami 2 does not need a cam to produce an accurate chuff rate. I highly recommend only cutting one wire at a time off of the harness and tagging it as we go. Six black wires loose in here, it's going to make identifying them pretty, pretty hard. And uh, the tags were real simple to make. I uh, just used the post-it note, some basic noting, motor plus, motor minus, right rail, left rail. Help us identify things down the road when we start uh, wiring the 1100 up. So once we've got our uh, locomotive wires and tender wires labeled, we can prepare the TSU 1100 for installation. This locomotive only has a headlight, so we won't be using the backup light output nor the FX3 and FX4 outputs. Those have been trimmed short and taped back to the decoder just to stay out of the way. They are insulated on the ends. All right, so we've got the harness on the 1100 trimmed and ready for the installation. We're gonna go ahead and strip and tin these wires so that we can get it tied into the already equipped harness on the locomotive.
So as a reminder, make sure you're using electrical grade solder and flux. So we've gone in, we've gotten our decoder wired up to the locomotive to tender wiring harness. We've remembered to shrink wrap all of our connections. Next we're going to go in, we're going to solder our speaker wires on. The speaker on this locomotive does not need to be upgraded. It's already rated for 1 watt of power and 8 ohms of impedance. It will work perfect with this TSU 1100. All right, one of the last steps in this installation before we can button this tender up, we'll need to add the capacitor that's included with the TSU 1100 into the mix. You'll see a stripe on the one side of the capacitor. It's gonna be a lighter color than the rest of the body. That stripe goes to the ground wire of the TSU 1100 that's gonna be the green and yellow wire. Slip our heat shrink over both posts of the capacitor covering our connection up and we're good with this. Okay, so we've checked the operation of the locomotive with the TSU 1100 installed. It's satisfactory. We're ready to wrap this installation up. We've got some double-sided tape up inside the tender tank underneath the coal load. That's where this is going to live. All right, guys, we've uh, tested our installation. We know it's working. We've got the tender tank back on the locomotive. We're going to go ahead and button it up, just a reverse procedure of what we did earlier to take it apart. We've got the number one and four axles removed from the tender to give us access to the tank screws. and we'll reinstall the tender wheels. Again, make sure you're paying attention to the insulated area. Make sure it matches the uh, wheel set that was left in, otherwise you will create a short. All right guys, so that completes the installation of a TSU 1100 from the Tsunami 2 product line on the Blackstone C19. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about doing this installation, please don't hesitate to contact our customer support department. We're here for you.